Hey girls, have you ever been in your kitchen like I am today? I'm mixing up slaw and I need some more mayonnaise. I run over to the refrigerator and get my mayonnaise so I can finish this up right quick. And oh goodness gracious alive, I'm out of mayonnaise. Well, what do you do? Do you have to jump in the car and run to the store to get some so you can finish up supper? Or do you have a plan in your home that really works so that you don't ever have to run out to the store to get anything unless you want to go and you have a plan to go? Well, that's what I'm going to be sharing with you today on pantry organization. We did kitchen organization um, yesterday and today I'm sharing with you pantry organization. Okay, my dilemma here is I need some mayonnaise. Okay. What I do that's a little different than what other ladies do is I keep one of everything that we use to cook in the kitchen. Now, I got two cabinets. Oh, here's one, and then I got another one right over here. We're still inside my kitchen, and that is where that I store oh, my cooking supplies. You can see there's the bread, the peanut butter, the canned goods, the fruits, all of that's in in my kitchen, okay? So everything I want to cook today is located in this kitchen. And it goes all around here. And, uh, but for this mayonnaise, it's not gonna do me no good because I run out of my one jar of mayonnaise that's in the kitchen. So what I do is I have a pantry system that's completely separate from my working supply that's in my kitchen. And uh, like I just showed you my working supply, two cabinets, and if I go to get something like this mayonnaise out of the refrigerator, I'm going into my pantry uh, to get the extra one, I hope. Well, there's something in my brain <laughs> that really works. And if I leave my kitchen and I go into, it's just a really a, just an old time utility room that we built some shelves in, preacher did. But anyway, uh, when I walk into this room, it makes me think, okay, you're you're uh, getting something out of your pantry. You need to think. Do you need to write it down? Does it need to go on your shopping list? I am always, hopefully, shopping for my pantry, and I'm not shopping for my kitchen because my kitchen has one of everything. That is my goal. I hope that makes sense. So let's go get the mayonnaise. Okay. I go, this is my pantry. It's not grand and glorious and huge, but this is my backup supply of our just general food. Paper products is up there. And over here is backup, the second items or the pantry items of like the stuff that goes into the other parts of the house, like the uh, toothpaste, and shampoos and soaps and all this, uh, razors, you got it, medicines and vitamins. Preacher built me some shelves right here. They're not even, uh, oh, maybe hardly 10 inches or wide, but they're kind of deep. And man, it is really nice to have my pantry stuff in here. I, okay, and uh, I went to get the mayonnaise and got to showing you the whole thing. Okay, here is my mayonnaise. So if you can see in here, that's my last one. I don't have another mayonnaise in here. So when I get this and I take it into the kitchen where I keep my working supply, I've got to remember to write it down on my shopping list, okay? And uh, so let's go in here and carry out this process. Oh, over here on the side of the refrigerator, I keep my shopping list. I have just a simple piece of paper divided in half, my groceries and other items that I'm shopping for. And uh, then I have this by the aisle of where everything is in my grocery store. Now, I went a long time ago, and by aisle by aisle, I uh, wrote down everything that was that I used that was in my grocery store and where it was located. And I used to use this all the time, and I'll tell you all about that. But now with online shopping and uh, grocery pickup, I just have to make a list and get on my computer and key it in and order it. But anyway, you see that I can now finish my slaw for supper because I have this mayonnaise. And, but I'm gonna go over here and sit down at the table and tell you what I'm gonna do about ordering up some more mayonnaise. Oh. Well, everything that I need in my pantry, I'll write it on my list. Here is my, if I'm going to the real store, I'm gonna take this by aisle. Here's where the mayonnaise is at my Walmart. It's on this aisle right here. And I'll put mayonnaise. Well, do I need this in my kitchen or do I need this in my pantry? Well, here's what I do. I put a P right here. That tells me that I need mayonnaise in my pantry. 
we got a whole cork here to use uh, in the kitchen, you see? And uh, if I were to needed mayonnaise for the slaw and run into my pantry in there and there was not anything in there, then our plan failed. Because right here, I would have to write a K for kitchen down by the mayonnaise and that tells me, oh dear, preacher's gonna have to run to the store this evening and get some mayonnaise because we're out and we can't even have slaw for supper. But the goal in my plan, and I've been working this for many years, is to have all peas on my shopping list, if that makes sense. Oh, whatever I write down, I want to have a pea, and that tells me, oh, I'm just putting it in my pantry. I don't have to rush to town today. It's going to save me a lot of money if I can continue making this big list and writing peas by everything, because when you get to the grocery store, even when you get online, they flash all these pictures at you on the side, and you, you buy more. And so... I like to wait for about a month and then go into the grocery store or online and order it uh, to stock my pantry. And uh, it's a joke around here that if we ever see any K's on the grocery list, I say, preacher, you did it. You did it. You went into the pantry and you got out shaving cream, took it to the bathroom and didn't write it down. And if you don't write it down then, see, then it becomes a missing item the next time that you need it. I hope this little short video helps you ladies and we'll... Uh, encourage you to stock up. Now, I want to tell you one thing. I've been doing this for many, many years. So now, uh, you know, I have a refrigerator in the kitchen and I have one out on my garage, old secondhand one. And I got my deep freeze, my high freezer here, and I've got a freezer outside. So I can even branch out on my pantry as far as having a milk and an egg in here and a milk and an egg outside. So it just helps me. But I didn't start out like that. I'm going to tell you how it started out, okay? In the, in the 80s, I started this pantry and kitchen uh, shopping. And the first thing that I done was I bought an extra pack of toilet paper that day when we went shopping for groceries. I was tickled to death. We had two packs of toilet paper. One that went in the bathroom and one that went in my little pantry, my first ever pantry that was separate from my kitchen. It was in the living room of the little pastorium at the church my husband pastored. And I put it in there on that one in that little bitty closet and uh, that was my first pantry many years ago. But we've used bookshelves, we've used everything to have a little stockpile or a little pantry over the years and it has just grown uh, with me to where uh, actually, if I had company coming to stay this weekend, I'd have everything I needed here in the house. And I'm not bragging about it. It's just a, a blessing to be have all that system in place where you don't run out of anything. And I hope this helps the young mothers and the people who are just starting out thinking, I am so tired of running to the grocery store two or three nights a week. You don't have to. Just start simple. Just think, oh, this week when I get groceries, I'm going to get an extra mayonnaise. Oh, next week I'm going to get an extra ketchup or mustard. And just build it up. Maybe put an extra loaf of bread in the freezer and have one uh, in your kitchen. And just remember, when you write stuff down, whether you need it for the pantry, put a P, or if you need it for the kitchen, put a K. And sooner or later, you won't have hardly any K's on your grocery list. You won't need anything in your working supply, which is your K, your kitchen. And you'll have everything stocked in your pantry for whatever's coming. I hope this helps you for stocking up for the holidays and all the days ahead. I am so excited about making a few more videos. And uh, like I said, I'm going to introduce Preacher to y'all before long if I can get him out of them woods. All right. Have a good day. And thank you for joining in to At Home with Miss Jones.